What's up guys, welcome to another PVM coaching video where we're going to take a look at a viewer's kill at Carapac in normal mode today to help and try and increase their DPS at this boss and see what we can do to just help move things along a little bit better. Now there's a few things to take note of before we get started that the kill time I believe in this video is around about 5 minutes 15 which isn't terrible to be honest for normal mode, it really really isn't um, and the uh, normal kill times that I get in on my noob account, my alt account uh, it's probably around about 4 minutes, to 10, 15, 4 minutes, 15, something like that. Uh, so it is uh, something that we can definitely work towards and see what we can get uh, to help you out here. And then also, um, we don't have a Ripper Demon in this video just yet. So this this viewer doesn't have a Ripper Demon yet. They are working on getting their summoning up. But I think they have everything else. They have 95 Prayer, Exanguate as well, which is great to see. Exanguate is a great spell. And I believe the armor we're using is Ganodermic Armor plus um, the Elder, Swear Elder 1, the Swear Elder Orb. So this is pretty good as well. That's absolutely fine now we're gonna to to take a look at the inventory first this is the important thing that we always do inventory and action bar um i can see straight away that you do need vulnerability bombs so grab those vulnerability bombs worth it every single time i promise you there is no doubt in my mind that it's worth bringing a vulnerability bomb along with you so make sure you bring them along they 10 percent extra damage for really not that much you'll probably use four in the fight with care pack five i guess if your kills are five minutes long but that will increase increase the dps you do as well meaning you'll have to use probably four uh overall though your action bar could po possibly use a few different changes i would probably put your bleeds at the beginning um, and then you kind of have it as well as it's going to get you wreck and ruin you'll probably have to use manually but other than that i think just moving the bleeds up the reason you want to move the bleeds up is because you don't want to use greater concentrated blast and then a bleed um the reason you don't want to do that is because greater concentrated blast adds a crit chance on your next hit but it will not do that on a bleed because bleeds can't crit right so it's kind of like wasting um the extra effect it's just to be a little bit of increased damage from that uh, but it's definitely worth doing and having your bleeds first anyway is always good because you want those on cooldown whenever they're ready because they're good damage they're good damage they add up and, and it's, it's really good you have a gothic staff great to see as well I hope you uh, make good use of that. You are using an Elder Rune shield, which is absolutely fine. It's just for the tier 90ness. Tier 90ness? Yeah, that makes sense. You have Overload, you have Prayer Renewals, and you have uh, Restore and a One Brew Flask. Okay, One Brew Flask. I'm assuming you must have enough food to get this kill. Um, so that's good anyway. Okay, so other than that, I don't think there's much else to talk about with the preset. You must count the Ring of Vigor, but you definitely have one because when you sunshined at the beginning there, you kept 10% adrenaline. So that's fine. Okay, so let's get this started and let's take a look. You do have animate dead on that's good to know about as well so uh, let's, let's take a look let's take a look i'm interested in seeing how this goes i'm really not sure how much difference the talon beast would make it's probably going to be pretty huge getting to a ripper demon is definitely going to be your first big goal and as soon as you can you want to get to that get your charm saved up 40 million gp on a double xp i know it's past double xp now but 40 million on a double xp will definitely be enough to get you uh, to a 96 summoning as well so Get those charms saved up ready for next time if you plan on doing it then or just um, as soon as you can really you definitely have a vigor on because your sunshine saved you 10 percent good to see and uh, you want an adrenaline potion now i assume okay you can get a gothic staff off good 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 and you walk under good to see as well good mechanics de dealing with the mechanics there okay there's the adrenaline potion nice and then you want to work on those thresholds uh, that probably could have been a little bit smoother at the beginning there. I would honestly suggest, I know that you probably don't feel like you like, can use this many action bars yet. I would probably suggest adding another action bar, um, just one for now, if, if anything. The reason I would say that is because when you sunshine, for example, if you have another action bar either just above it or just below this, you could use sunshine. And then if you do, if you have to click, if you want to click, then you could click that and then click directly below it. I know you can't see through my little time thingy, but if you click just below it where your uh, barricade would be, then you'll be able to put your adrenaline potion there too. So you could click them together and then where your adrenaline pot straight away. If you get that on straight away, the sooner you use it, the sooner it's available again. And of course, having that adrenaline straight away is always good. Um, and then other than that, uh, I think the rest of it was pretty okay. You want to make sure you bring Vaughn Bombs. You would Vaughn Bomb straight away as well. Every time you sunshine, just drop a Vaughn Bomb. It's a good habit to get into. It's good that you've got your Gothic Staff off straight away. This is going to help with your accuracy. Absolutely. I believe you're using Maniacal Aura as well. I think we talked about this in Discord. You're using Maniacal Aura, which is awesome. And your accuracy shouldn't... You shouldn't have much issue with your accuracy. I'll be surprised if you're splashing at all, to be honest. Uh, we'll see what happens though. But good look at that damage. That's good damage, man. That's good damage for the first bit. Okay, you do have the ring. So you do have the ring. What you could do on the dive instead, rather than surging, a good thing you can do is either escape or 
honestly, you could just let that first hit get you with protect from melee on and just keep walking. So when it lands on you, just move to the side, get out of this, this melee distance. When he's in that, he takes way less damage. You want to move out straight away. But as long as you protect from melee like you are and then move, that's it. Just like that. But then move all the way out straight away. And then you can clear that off pretty quick. When he's doing his dive, it's a bit difficult to get DPS in. But you want to be making sure you throw off as many thresholds as you can. Let me just go back again through that and see what you did exactly. So you've used um, 68 before you, you moved. And then you want to use... So here you want to be using Wild Magic, which is good. And then you want to be using Asphyxiate the second he lands down. So you definitely want to get these thresholds off. So letting your adrenaline build up like this, it's fine if you think like, ah, uh, um, I've, I've, I've not got full adrenaline, so I don't have to use a threshold just yet. But if you think about it like this, every time you use a threshold, the sooner you use it, the sooner it's off cooldown and ready to be used again. You want to be using thresholds the majority of the time if you can. You have a lot of adrenaline, get that asphyxiate off, get the wild magic off, get the deep impact off. I know it's still deep impact, whatever. It's, it's more damage than the basic. Um, but also, you've got a Gothic Staff too. So take advantage of that Gothic Staff and make sure you spam that. If you've got 100% Adrenaline and you've used Wild Magic and Asphyxiate, Gothic Staff's going to be your next best thing. And you may think, oh, but it, in it, it's a lower tier weapon. So Gothic Staff, the way it works is it hits freaking hard. I'm telling you now, it hits hard. And also, weapon specs have an increased accuracy as well. So it won't splash. It may splash now and then, but on Maniacal, with the, the bonuses that you've got, the Overload and the, the Curses and stuff, I'm pretty sure you won't splash. So definitely use that take advantage of it gothic staff is incredible does a lot of damage is it's like an extra threshold when you're sitting on a home set adrenaline like this make sure you get that off man just get it get it started off straight away so you got the lightning coming let's see how you deal with that <clears throat> i think if you do if you do <laughs> so at the beginning you misclicked your weapon poison right and it didn't actually apply i think had you done that had you got the weapon poison on and you'd use vulnerability bomb you could have skipped lightning because you're, you're 15k off here I think if you'd done that, you would have skipped lightning, in, uh, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is, and there's a tip for you anyway. Make sure you double-check that weapon poison. <laughs> um, you, wanna, you don't want to miss out on that. You could also use Lanterdime sticks as well. Um, the the inset, Yeah, Lanterdime incense sticks are going to increase your weapon poison damage too. Okay, so this might sound stupid and a little bit like like picky, but what's going to happen here is because you've clicked, when you've clicked that little um, extra action button, what's going to happen is you're going to get pulled straight back out and you're going to not be able to dodge the thing like you did the first time. The reason being is you need to click that button the second it appears. Now, it only looks like you were, you were literally a second or one auto attack late, but you want to be straight away. If you watch as soon as it appears, you want to click it like now. You need to click it now. Like by now, click it. That's it. As soon as it appears, you want it done. You wait here and then you'll see you've clicked it and then he uses an auto attack. What's going to happen, as you'll see in a second, is you're going to walk under him to dodge the little thing, but you're going to get dragged out because of the, the time thing. But it's still good to see you using that and using Sunshine. That's good. You're getting ready to walk under. Watch what happens here. So you'll see you get pulled out, and then you're going to get stunned. So you need to be, like, immediate with that. You can either do it immediately, or you can wait for, like, two auto attacks, and then you can use it. If you wait for two auto attacks, you will, um, you'll be able to you'll be underneath him long enough to to think but if you do it the other way you have to click under him after the time walks run out do you have planted feet i don't think you do right okay no you don't have planted feet so what another thing is if you have invention unlocked um you might not have invention unlocked yet you may not but if you do then you want to get planted feet um it's incredible it, it does a lot but you, you don't need it necessarily it's just gonna help out a lot like you, you want it eventually you do need it eventually but right now to get your kill time down a little bit you don't need it just yet uh but if you can get it, then absolutely. That's like the one perk you want to get. It's incredible. You dealt with those those dies pretty damn well, though. I'm impressed with that. That was really good. So here, you again, you've got quite a lot of adrenaline. You are saving for sunshine here. I probably just wouldn't bother with sunshine because you're going to sunshine now and you've got to deal with this lightning. So you're going to have to surge through and pull yourself out of the sunshine. And then you've got another one coming as well. So I would have probably just used Wild Magic, um, used Asphyxiate, and then maybe got ready to Sunshine afterwards. I also think you would have skipped this Lightning too. If you, not Lightning, you would have you would have phased by now. If you just used your Thresholds here, because you, when you Sunshined, he had 96k health. If you'd used Wild Magic and Asphyxiate and a Gothic Staff, you probably would have been close to phasing by now. Um, but that's things you pick up on. Just just look at the where the fight's at, and you don't always have to sunshine. Like a lot of people will say, if sunshine's available, use it. It's it's amazing, and you have to use sunshine. There's still gonna be situations where you don't always want to just sunshine. Do you have a god book? Wait. Do you wait? Wait. 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 You don't have a god book. Okay. This is huge. If you can get a god book, whether it's one from Horror from the Deep, 
or whether it's a jazz book, you've got 40 mil, I think you can get a jazz book. Get a jazz book. Holy crap, it's going to help you out so much. A book of jazz is going to be incredible damage that you just need to do nothing with, and it's so cheap to upkeep. Get a book of jazz. That's all I'm going to say. Get a book of jazz. <laughs> It'll help out, like, instantly. Straight away. You want one. The damage you get from it will probably skip lightning, I would say. That plus weapon poison and vulnerability bomb, you'll be skipping lightnings. I'm almost certain. Your mechanics are pretty good, by the way. The reason that stunned you there is because you missed it before. And if you miss it once, then the whole thing just doesn't work. But your mechanics dealing with the boss is fine. I think you're doing fine. I'm interested to see how you deal with the lightning on this phase. Because you used Sunshine before, you couldn't Sunshine at the beginning. So you've missed a bit of damage there, which is another thing you'll pick up along the way. It's just don't use Sunshine at that last place and you'll be fine. Um, or if you do Sunshine, you want to use Time Warp every time you do it. So it's always available again. You go into the middle for the lining. I'm going to say you're probably going to barricade this one. If you do, I will pull you on it and tell you to use Reflect instead. <laughs> um, but we'll see what happens. I, I do notice, by the way, that you're very low on food. But it is still better to use Reflect here. And I'll explain why if you do barricade. Which you do. Okay, good. So... It makes sense. You're low on food. You want to just get through it. And you're going to get a reset anyway. Because you're going to use Time Warp and it's going to come back. Right. The reason I would use Reflect there instead is as you are sitting at 100% Adrenaline, I would have reflected probably... I would have used Reflect now. I would have Time Warped. I would use Reflect and Debilitate. With Reflect and Debilitate on, you are going to take almost no damage, especially with Animate Dead as well. And all the damage you would have taken is going to get reflected to Karapak. So it does more damage to him as well. You take nearly no damage, does damage to him. It's it's it, it's extra DPS. It's not a lot of DPS, right? It's not a ton, but it's extra. You may be thinking, but I don't have much food. So if you don't have much food, you've got a Time Warp. So you're going to go back to the middle, right? As soon as you get through there, once you Time Warp back, your, your health is going to go back up. But you want to make sure you Time Warp late enough to the point where you're not going to get pulled back into the middle of the Lightning. So if you Time Warp like like too soon, so if you Time Warp like now, by the time you've run through those Lightnings, they're not going to have passed you here. So you want to do it like when you barricade it pretty much. You want to Time Warp at the same time. So you're going to do it now. There you go. Perfect. You would Reflect and Debilitate. And then you would get through the Lightnings. And then once they've passed, again, you could just stand still. Once they've passed, then you would just time up back. Your health would go back up and you would have dealt damage to carry back as well. So you wouldn't have lost any extra food. You wouldn't have had to use 100% adrenaline. So you could have still used maybe wild magic or something for free. And you would have got more out of that, definitely. But using Reflect and Debilitate for Lightning, honestly, it makes it hit like 200s in normal mode. It really doesn't hit that hard. So definitely take advantage of that. I really think that adding a Jazz Book, Weapon Poison, and a Vulnerability Bomb, you're going to knock a minute off your time here. I actually think that's probably going to happen. And then changing the things with your Revolution Bar to having your Bleeds first, um, definitely. So you've Time Warped, you've used Sunshine, Gothic Staff, good to see. Get that damage in. How much did that Gothic Staff hit? Let's have a look. 6k. That Gothic Staff hit 6k. So good. It's so strong. Honestly, Gothic Staff is so freaking strong. Take advantage of it. That that's hit, hits harder than like most of your thresholds except for Wild Magic and Asphyxiate. You want to use that whenever you can. It hits harder than um, Deep Impact. It'll hit harder than the Tendrils. It hits harder than Destinate probably on a single target. Honestly, Gothic Staff, if you've got high adrenaline, just get the, just spam the crap out of it. It's 25%, but definitely worth it. I think overall, though, honestly, your mechanics with the boss is fine. I think if you increase your DPS a little bit, you'll lose the feeling of needing to use Sunshine. And also, it's always important for us to pay attention to the fact that you are recording a video right now and this pressure when you record a video i understand that so using your sunshine before you may have pressed that button and gone why the hell did i just do that why did i just sunshine <laughs> it happens it, 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 when you start recording yourself you definitely feel that pressure um you were close with food holy crap you didn't touch your brew which is good definitely get a jazz book definitely get weapon poison um Maybe definitely use your weapon poison. I would use incense sticks as well, probably. I'll probably use Lance Diamond incense sticks, to be honest, which increase the weapon poison damage too. And then I would work on remembering to use vulnerability bombs. So bring vulnerability bombs with you and then work on, on actually using them too. Because every time you sunshine and drop a vulnerability bomb, you'll knock some time off. I think that alone, mixed with rearranging this, just literally just move them up. So move the, the bleed up one and then one again and then one again. And then do the same with this. If you're doing one, then one, then one, then one. And it'll put everything in the right order. And that's what you want to do. And every time you have Rack and Ruin, because I think Rack and Ruin's there quite a lot, right? I mean, if I go through, it's not on there. But if I go back again a little bit more, it's there again. Rack and Ruin hits so freaking hard as well. So try and get in the habit of using that. And if you can use um, Combust straight after Rack and Ruin, then that's, that's great as well. 
So other than that though, once you've done those things, I think you'll notice the difference. You'll probably start skipping lightning sometimes, or if not, you'll phase like straight after it. And you'll notice, I think you'll save about a minute. And then once you get yourself a Ripper Demon, man, you'll be flying through this. You'll be flying through it. Ripper Demon, use the scrolls with it as well. But other than that, dude, you will definitely increase your time with that stuff. I hope it helps. Uh, let me know on Discord if it doesn't. If you have any questions, ask as well. Everyone else watching, I hope this helped for you guys too. Uh, if you aren't using Vuln Bombs, guys, if you aren't using Weapon Poison, if you aren't using all the extras that can increase your damage over time, like without really doing anything bonus, then, then then use them. I know it looks expensive on the at the beginning. Like it looks, um, you're throwing Vuln Bombs, it's 30k a go. They're definitely worth it. I know it's 10% damage. Just keep in mind that a Prayerstall Codex is not 10% damage increase from the level 95 to level 99. But you'll pay nearly one bill for one of those. So for the 10% increase in damage from a Vaughn Bomb, they're worth it. They are absolutely worth it. Please use them. Uh, but other than that, that's it. Hopefully it helped. If it did, then do leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you to the channel members who support the channel and make pretty much... It's insane. You guys help out more than you probably realize. Like, all of it, it's, it's, it's unreal. I really do appreciate it. This list goes on forever. Your names are on screen, of course. Thank you all. Everybody else watching, I appreciate that too. And I will see you all in the next one. See you there, guys. Bye.